Houndstone is a new ghost dog in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This is a Pokemon on a lot of people's radar due to its new move, Last Respects, which starts at 50 base power and grows stronger and stronger the less Pokemon you have. When you combine that move with its ability, Sand Rush, allowing it to outspeed most opponents, you get a really nasty Pokemon. So let's take a closer look at this moveset video guide on how to use Houndstone. So the first set we're going to be talking about is the Choice Band set. This is one of the strongest sets on Houndstone is Choice Band. While it does lock it into a move, gives it 1.5 times the damage and with sand rush you get double the speed as well so you go from 235 at level 100 to 470 allowing you to effectively outspeed the entire metagame unless they have boost you're faster than flutter main you're faster than chien pal you're just doing so much damage especially with your last respects this is the biggest move that does so much for houndstone and i do apologize normally i have slides for these but because this week is very busy for me as it's launch week and i have a marathon going on this is just a little bit easier for me so bear with me they'll be back in time but Last Respects is the move you want, and you're gonna be clicking the most with Houndstone. It is a 50 base power move, ghost physical, and every single time a party member faints, it goes up by 50. This is insane because if Tyranitar is knocked out, it's now 100 base power. If another Pokemon is knocked out, it's 150 base power. So it's incredibly strong. It's part of the reason why this mod ended up getting banned in single 6v6. And um, actually, it's the only reason why this mod ended up getting banned in single 6v6. So. Play Rough is your next option. This gives you versus dragons, but more importantly, fighting types um, that allow you to, um, you didn't normally want to hit them with uh, Last Respects. Play Rough is just there. But once Last Respects is boosted enough, it doesn't matter what type your opponent is. As long as they're not normal, it's good. Play Rough just gives you a nice little option, especially versus Cyclozar, to be able to knock it out with a Choice Band boost, as long as it's not that bulky. And then last, we have, uh, in terms of moves, Terra Blast. Now, Terra Blast with fighting is really good. It's 80 base power. It becomes a fighting type attack physical because of your EV spread, which is max attack, max speed. And with fighting, you resist Sucker Punch now from King Gambit, and you can knock it out with Terra Blast fighting. It's four times effective. This also allows you to knock out Tyranitar as well, and just strong versus Cycles R2. The last move we do have is Trick, allowing you to get rid of your choice band and maybe cripple a Pokemon uh, like a Toxapex and a Paladon, a Corviknight, basically anything that could set up on you or has set up, even a Don Dozo, something that has set up on you, and then it allows you to lock them into that move while freeing up your move play. Again, Terrestrializing into Fighting is really, really strong because it gives you uh, still stab on your Ghost Attack. Your Ghost Attack is just as strong, but you're just pure fighting now. And it also means that you know, you're not weak to Ghost as well. So even something like a Flutter Main won't be able to knock you out with Shadow Ball uh, because you've become fighting, as long as it's not Choice Specs. And um, yeah, because you're no longer Ghost. So the next set we have is Life Orb, which also runs the same thing on Sand. And the Life Orb set is just to be able to mix up moves. I personally like Fairy on the Life Orb set because you can run it with Play Rough and then it becomes Stab. Again, just a stronger move. Uh, really strong versus Tyranitar, really strong versus Cyclozar. Um, and again, being Fairy type lets you uh, resist the Sucker Punch. It also still lets you resist Mock Punch as well, which is something that Fighting type doesn't. Like, you resist Sucker Punch with Fighting type uh, Terrastalizing, but you don't resist the Mock Punch after. You just It's neutral. So from Banded Brand Limits, it could be a problem. So Play Off is really nice. It just becomes a secondary stab move, basically, on this Pokemon. Last Respect's still really good with Life Orb. Body Press is there just for normal types and just for Tyranitar. Do that four times effective damage. It is based on your defense, so it's going off of 236, not 331 but it's still incredibly, incredibly powerful uh, versus those four times effective Pokemon like Chien Pao. And um, it's just something that allows you to hit them for damage. And you have Shadow Sneak. And Shadow Sneak is very important too because outside of Sand, you're relatively slow Pokemon, right? Base 68, 235 speed is really slow. Something like Fluttermane can easily outspeed you. Something like Goldengo can easily outspeed you as well. So with Priority Shadow Sneak, as long as they've taken a little bit of damage, in Mischievous case or Fluttermane's case, it actually just dies straight up to um, Shadow Sneak with Stealth Rock, and sometimes it can die without Stealth Rock as well. It just allows us to deal with Pokemon faster, giving that nice little priority move. So that's Life Orb set. I do want to say at this point, if you guys are new to the channel and you like competitive Pokemon or just interested in it, whether it's discussion videos, move sets, Wi-Fi battles, or anything like that, or my dog, which just happens to be barking while we're talking about a dog, feel free to subscribe. I'm on the way to 400k, and that's my uh, end of next year goal, and you can help me get there. So the next set we have is my personal favorite set. Now, you don't always have to run Houndstone on Sand Teams because that's very limiting, right? You're If you run it on Sand Team, you're forced to have a Sand Setter like Hippowdon or Tyranitar, no matter what. 
right? That's pretty limiting to your team building. Maybe they're not your favorite Pokemon. Maybe they're not something you want to use. I think Fluffy is just as good as Sandrush in, in different ways, obviously, right? Sandrush giving the speed is pretty crazy, but Fluffy gives you the defense. And Fluffy, this Pokemon takes half damage from contact moves and two times damage from fire moves, right? So fire moves are essentially super effective, but you take half damage from contact moves. So this allows this Pokemon to take even the strongest contact moves in the game, like a Choice Band Palafin's Jet Punch, or even a Heat, uh, or even a Wave Crash, or a Choice Band Scissors Bullet Punch, or um, a Sucker Punch from King Gambit. Like it allows it to take it very, very well, like it survives. So Eve's EV spread is max attack to maximize your damage with an adamant nature, that way last respect still does a ton of damage. You're running leftovers for the longevity, and then you have max defense instead of putting in HP because you want to maximize how much um, how much physical hits you can take. Just to give you an example, plus one Dragonite's Earthquake does about 50%. Like it's nothing, absolutely nothing. Um, then you have Shadow Sneak uh, with Substitute, Body Press, and Last Respects. Um, so Shadow Sneak again gives you that priority. And of course, Last Respects, you want the Body Press. Body Press is still going off of your defense. And in this case, you have higher defense than on the normal set um, with 299. So it's really, really, really uh, nice. And then Substitute just gives you free subs versus um, Pokemon like Corviknights, Brave Bird, you easily tank them. It also gives you something free versus Blissey that's going for Thunder Wave. Um, as Seismic Toss won't be able to hit you. And then the other cool thing about this set is we have Terra Type Normal. Now, the way Terra Type Normal works for this Pokemon is that if something like Fluttermane or Godango or just any Ghost Type is in front of you or any Dark Type is in front of you that could potentially hit you for super effective damage by Terrastalizing to a Normal Type, if they're Ghost, they literally can't hit you because you come Normal and you'll knock them out with Last Respects or 2 KO them with Shadow Sneak depending on the Pokemon. And if there's something like Champal who has these really, really, and I'll show you real quick, but who has this really, really strong um, crunch or throat chop versus you. On top of that, it's uh, lowering the defense stat by 25%. Like you're able to tank that and knock them out with body press with ease in that situation. So it just allows Houndstone uh, a lot of situations. I have a whole video yesterday where I uploaded with this Pokemon. If, you wanna, if you're if you interested in, in seeing this Pokemon put in work, this specific set and the Terrasalizing Normal was absolutely amazing for it too. Uh, Choice Scarf is the next set we're going to be talking about now. It's not very fast, right? But 258 times 1.5 is what? Like 387, if I'm not mistaken. So um, I know the number, but it was just, yeah, it's 387, yeah. I just want to remember that it was 387. Yeah. So 387, relatively fast with uh, this current metagame, right? We have Pokemon way faster than that naturally, but it also just allows this Pokemon to outspeed a lot of threats like um, Iron uh, Tusk, Iron Threads, etc. Uh, et so it just allows you to click a uh, last respects. And this can work on like Memento spam teams. Like I paired this one with Flutterman when it was legal uh, to use Memento just to give it an extra boost in that. Uh, I kind of want to compare this to Scarf Dracovish. Obviously, at first, it's not as powerful because Dracovish has Strong Jaw and Ficious Ren, which is doubled in power uh, when you move first. But this eventually, like as an end game sweeper, this can be really, really cool. So uh, the set I have is Last Respects Body Press. Uh, I think you just always want something to be able to hit something like Tyranitar, something to hit King Gambit, especially because you have the fluffy ability as well. And uh, to be able to hit things like that, um, you could also go um, your Terra type. I went Ghost just because you're Scarf, so you don't have the power of the Choice Band or the Life Orb. So I went Ghost just to give you the double stab on Last Respects because it goes from 1.5 times to two times the damage, which is beautiful. Uh, and then you have Will-O-Wisk. You know, Will-O-Wisk is really cool because if they bring out a dark type or a normal type that can be immune or resist the last respects, though in a dark type's case, if you have five Pokemon knocked out, they're not going to be taking it well. They'll be too KO'd. Uh, you can Will-O-Wisk and burn them, allowing them to do less damage to you, especially when coupled with your, um, your fluffy ability. And then Trick just allows you to use this to cripple something else, right? Like giving a defensive Pokemon a Choice Scarf is one of the worst things you could do for that defense Pokemon. It doesn't allow them, like Claude's Eye, for instance, it doesn't allow it to recover, it doesn't allow it to T-Spikes, doesn't allow it to yawn, doesn't allow it to earthquake. So it's really cool. It can be a little cleaner, like a late game cleaner with this set. And very, very similar to Dracovish in my opinion, though it does require you to have Pokemon dead for it to work. And the last set we have is something that I think can really work with this mod just because it's an offensive ghost type. Um, and I love the idea of uh, will o -Wisp with Body Press and Sub. So it's kind of a combination of the last few sets, but we have Last Respects, will o -Wisp, Substitute, and Body Press with Terra-type fighting. With Sub, uh, you're immune to obviously the normal type stuff, 
uh, with Fluffy and max defense, max HP, you're taking Brave Birds and things. And you, you know, you might not have any attack investment. You might only have 238 attack naturally. But as Pokemon die, your last respects just get stronger and stronger. And if you're subbing and you're Will O Wisping, physical attackers are not breaking your sub ever because you have burnt them. So they have their attack even lower on top of you being a defensive one. If you Terrastalize into a fighting type, you get stab on body press as well, making that even stronger. And leftovers for longevity. This is just really cool of impish nature. Now, this set is more um, something that you can't use on Pokemon Showdown right now, but I feel like it has a lot of viability, especially on, like these are all, all stuff I've tested and used. This one is just like more so, I really think this is really good. And I think that in lower tiers, even though Last Respect isn't something that will be allowed on this mon, on Pokemon Showdown, uh, at least, you know, when, for now, right? Unless you're playing the Ubers tier. Or you get it in like random battles or something. I feel like this set has so much potential because defensive ghost is nice. You're a rapid spin blocker, which I think is really, really good for ghost types. Obviously, I mean, it's amazing for being a ghost type. It's what ghost types do. Obviously, you switch it on fighting moves as well. And this Pokemon and normal moves and, you know, you resist bugs. So this Pokemon can have a lot. And you have body press for the dark types as well. You have will to cripple them too. So it just allows uh, Houndstone to really run as a defensive dog and I think it has a lot of potential. I, I love defensive ghost types. Ghost is a good typing offensively and defensively in my opinion. Um, so amazing for it. Terrestrializing the fighting gives you that boost in that body press doing even more. Your last respects does so much damage to as Pokemon die and you know consider using Houndstone. So if you guys did enjoy make sure you leave a like subscribe. If you guys want to pick up Pokemon Scarlet and Violet I do have Best Buy affiliate links down below. You support me you can buy anything via those links and actually support me in the channel and that's basically all I have. I did a, a Houndstone Pokemon Showdown Live yesterday. I encourage you to go ahead and check that out. And I will see you in the next video uh, where I'll have a different Showdown Live with a different Pokemon. And I'll also be talking about why Houndstone and Fluttermane got banned. So that's it, guys. Peace.